This is the Plasma Preen 2 uh, Plasma Etching Microwave Oven. Now you might say that this looks like your average everyday kitchen microwave oven and that's exactly what it is. However, with very clever engineering, this uh, locally based right here in central New Jersey, this company took a standard kitchen microwave oven and adapted for use as an actual plasma uh, etch type of uh, piece of equipment. Um, what they did to alter the piece of equipment in order to make it usable as a, as a more high technology piece of equipment is they made a number of connections in the back as well. Um, the connections are first vacuum uh, we have a vacuum pump connected to the microwave oven capable of developing uh, three cubic feet of minute of vacuum uh, to the levels of 50 microns. Uh, we have, uh, it is a water cool jacket that is inside so we also have cooling water as well. This can be ambient water such as uh, your house or facility water uh, but normally around 20 degrees C is sufficient. And of course, we have a connection to our inert, our inert gas that we're using. Uh, in this case, we are using argon. Okay. First, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier, we have our source of argon gas. We have our vacuum pump along with our water supply. <clears throat> now, before we can operate the, the oven, we have to first establish a vacuum level. This is very important. You close the purge valve. Okay, now, very important, a vacuum level, vacuum must be maintained between 1 to 5 millitor in order to avoid damaging microwave, that's very important. So when you are actually exciting a plasma and using it as a plasma etch piece of equipment, you must maintain a vacuum level of between 1 to 5. Um, also, gas flow rate should be set at 5 cubic feet an hour. This is also important and can be regulated by this flow meter right here. Now once your cooling water is sufficient, you have sufficient vacuum and you have a sufficient flow of gas, it's then as simple as starting it like any microwave at home. And the plasma will, will ignite. Now, there are some uh, uh, special good safety features about this. For example, let's say the cycle was completed and it stopped as normal. Uh, so you put in 10 seconds. turns off as normal as any microwave would. But let's say, for example, somebody inadvertently uh, had it on and then said, oh, good, it's time for me to take my product out or something, and they went to open the door, immediately the microwave radiation would be shut off. So there's no possible way that you could have accidental exposure to uh, the actual microwave ra uh, radiation. Um, just to prove that, how efficiently that works. If I depress the unlock button, even before it gets halfway or it even starts to go near to detach the door, as you can see, it has already turned off the microwave. So it's very, very safe. Another thing to mention also 
from a safety standpoint is if you are using this at full power for let's say any more than three to four minutes it is Pyrex but it will get very hot to the touch so you should give yourself sufficient time after you're done running the cycle in order for this actual piece of glass to cool down. Um, just to show you how you would load, load a product in here if we were to purge, turn off our vacuum. Purge the bell jar. And uh, the people at Plasma Systems made it very nice, simple. Very simple, nice little hold in there. So you can put your workpiece in and out very comfortably. A uh, typical application of this type of oven, for example, would be to clean photoresist off of wafers. And it, it is also used quite a bit in the optical industry as well, as far as perfecting uh, actually good optics and um, other components used in that industry. Close the lid. Close the door. Turn to gas. Pump it down into range. Oops. There we go. That's good. And once again, press the button. Now the last thing I have to mention is that um, uh, the analog power control, according to the manufacturer, the control should not be operated under um, 80%. When using the analog power control, try not to run at a setting between 80 and 99. 100 or full power is okay. This will prolong the life of the analog power control unit. Um, and that's because when you turn this down, even though the power goes down to the, within the actual bell jar, within the plasma itself, the current increases this. So if we start to turn it off, when we get past 70%, we'll start to lose our plasma. But between 70 and 100% is a normal operating range. I have to say, uh, this was a very, very clever piece of engineering, and it certainly um, belongs in the ranks of a high-technology piece of equipment.